वेलकम टू सी एस सी थ्री फोर्टी कंप्यूटर आर्किटेक्चर लेक्चर सीरीज सो यू ऑल नो दैट वी आर रिव्यूइंग डी एल डी फॉर एडवांसिंग टू आर कोर्स और कंप्यूटर आर्किटेक्चर कोर्स एंड वी ऑलरेडी हैव डिस्कस द रीजन फॉर डूइंग दैट डूइंग दिस रिव्यू वी नीड दिस कॉम्पोनेंट्स वेन वी आर एक्चुअली going to learn computer architecture or uh, the components uh, that builds the computer architecture for that we need to identify or we need to see what are the components that uh, we actually have inside the computer architecture or inside a processor and how they work so let's start with shift register we already in the last segment we already have discussed about shift, shift register how they are designed and wh what happens when you move one bit to the left uh, one uh, when you shift one bit to the left or one bit to the right we all know that now today or in this segment we are going to discuss right shift register we are going to design a right shift register uh, and see how uh, the right shift register works so let's see uh, uh, let's uh, see the design uh to to do that we all know that shift register in the shift register inside the shift register we need flip flop so let's uh, since we, we have limited space here so just for the sake of implementation or the explanation of the uh, shift registers uh, to be more specific right shift register in this case let's uh, have uh, this design so let's have a few uh, flip flops here let's uh, these are all flip flops let's say this is the last flip flop and we all know the uh, since we are going to uh, perform a shift operation so and now this is let's say we have a common clock something like this or we can do this this is our common clock let's say we write c here so this is our common clock for our design hope you can see this so this is our common clock for the uh, for the register uh, shift register now this is our uh, let's say these are input end and these are all Uh, th this is what we are we are feeding to the uh, ship register. Uh, th th this is uh, through this link we are feeding to the ship register. And since we are performing a right shift operation, that is bits are going to this direction. So something will come out from this cell or this flip flop. Now, uh, what what could happen when we made uh, uh, when we make a right shift that means let's say uh, we have a scenario something like this let's say we have 1 1 0 and so on and we have and 1 here now if we uh, perform a right shift operation then what will happen this one will go here okay this one will go here and this process would continue which means this one whatever the bit you have in the previous flip flop will come here and this one will come out of this flip flop and another event will occur since we are moving this uh, this one to this flip flop this flip flop will be empty this flip flop will be empty because we do not know what will uh, what bit will come it, will it be zero or one to this flip flop now now the general uh, setting would tell you that this one would be 
may be 0 or since that bit is coming out, whatever coming out from this, uh, uh, this flip flop, uh, let us say this is LSB flip flop, that means list uh, a, 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 a LSB a list square bit and this uh, um, a list is a significant bit, sorry, and a most significant bit. So, there could be two, uh, two options, one you could have a 0, no matter what happens, uh, this empty, empty flip-flop will always be 0. The other option could be whatever coming out from that uh, flip-flop, that means the LSB flip-flop will go here. Now, we can see that there are two options, but we do not know which one to take. Now, let us say we have a multiplexer here. Let us say we have uh, we have a multiplexer attached to this input MSB. Uh, Let us say this is multiplexer. Okay. Now one input to this multiplexer is coming from this link. Okay, so whatever the value is coming out from this flip flop can go through this link. Let us say we have another setting which is, let us say we will always provide 0 through this link. That means whatever happens when there is a left, uh, right shift, this flip flop, uh, the, the empty bit, that is the, uh, when you make a right shift, this flip flop becomes empty you provide a, you always provide a zero or we could have a setting like this where we provide a one similar to zero when you make a right shift you put a one in the empty a empty flip flop now the next one is interesting next one what i'd like to call it as d which is actually some external data which Probably the, uh, since uh, there are lots of components who are uh, always running, so this data is coming from some other uh, other component, which uh, which may be generating some output, a one bit output could be zero and could be one, but we do not know. Let's say this uh, this data is connected to some other component, let's say x. So d is getting the input from let's say a component which which we call x so see there are four options that uh, that we can choose from now since there are four options so multiplexer needs to select one of them so we need to have a selector which is a two bit selector so now you can see what happens Let's say this is multiplexer port 0, this is multiplexer port 1, this is multiplexer port 2 and this is multiplexer port 3. So this is the uh, setup that we have. Now based on this setup, uh, since this is a right shift register, let us say, uh, let me write this, this is This is a right shift register. Now, what would be the control for multiplexer? When we have 0, 0 in the selection uh, selector bit, that means here, then this will be a feedback. This will be a feedback, which means whatever coming out from this LSB port or LSB uh, uh, flip flop is again going uh, to this empty flip flop. Or if I put 0, 1, then in this uh, flip flop, I am putting a 0. Whenever this flip flop is getting empty, I am putting a 0. When uh, this is 1, 0, that means this one, 1, 0 means 2, I am putting a, putting an 1 here. And then when we have a scenario something like this, 
then I'm choosing external data. external data to go to this flip-flop and this is how the right shift register works. Now, one obvious question would be how the uh, left shift register might work. So, the left shift register is again similar, the design is similar to this one. The only uh, difference would be in, in case of left shift register, the bit movement will be in this direction. Bit movement would be in this direction and let me erase this one. Uh, let me erase this one also. So, when the bit movement is this one, so we do not need this because now, what will happen is the beat will be coming down through this link. As you, as you already know that when we are performing a right shift operation, MSB beat goes, to the, uh, goes towards the LSB direction and when we are performing L, um, uh, left shift operation, LSB beat goes towards the MSB bit position. So, the design would be similar to the previous one. So, uh, uh, then we will need a multiplexer now in this, this place and like this and then you'll have this, this and this. So, let's say this is uh, this link carries the data or the bit that is coming from the MSB flip-flop, okay. And this one is let's say 0, this one gives uh, 1 and this one gives which is uh, in the uh, in the uh, as like the last uh, case let's say this is coming from some component which is x and let's say this is our selection bit for the multiplexer now uh, let's say this is port 0 port 1 port 2 and port 3 so again uh, for multiplexer, if we have a, 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 in the selection line, that means here, if we uh, here, let me write this, if we have 0, 0, then this will be feedback. If we have 0, 1, so we'll, we'll send 0 in this empty cell. If it is 1, 0, then we will send 1 and if it is 1, 1, then we will select external data. So, this is the design of left shift register. Now, in this uh, segment, we have seen how we can design a left shift register as well as a right shift register. So, in the next segment, we will see how can we combine both left shift and right shift register into a single design. Thank you.